Well, Monica, luckily, as the Irving Berlin song says, I've got my love to keep me warm. And that brings us to our next story. It's the holidays, and that means it's proposal season. About two out of five engagements happen in these two and a half months between Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day. Over the past few years, more people have been getting engaged with lab-grown diamonds. Have you heard of those? Well, Van Two tells us why consumers are embracing these human-made gems that are becoming increasingly available at jewelry retailers. The engagement ring, a symbol of love, a circle with no end, topped by a brilliant diamond. When Lindsay Rhinesmith and Jason Payne were discussing marriage, she had one ask when it came to this step in marking their commitment to each other. I told Jason that if he proposed with a mine diamond that I would say no. And it was very important to me that I had a ring that symbolized our love in a way that was free from diamond mining. Seeking a more eco-conscious and conflict-free alternative, the couple decided they wanted lab-grown diamonds, but found there was no consumer market for these high-tech, man-made gems. That was a decade ago. So we set out to create the company we wish had existed when we went through our process. They entered the diamond business, launching Ada Diamonds in San Francisco as early adopters of ethically sourced man-made diamonds for jewelry. An important thing to understand is that a man-made diamond is a diamond. It is a crystal of carbon. It materially has the same properties as a natural diamond, the same fire, the same brilliance, the same sparkle. Instead of forming in the earth millions or billions of years ago, synthetic diamonds can be grown in labs in a matter of weeks. Lab-grown diamonds look identical to natural diamonds to the unaided eye and typically needs advanced laboratory testing to be identified. Like natural diamonds, lab-grown diamonds vary in quality among the four C's, cut, color, clarity, and carat. Lab-grown diamonds, just like mine diamonds, are going to vary in their price based on their quality. These diamonds here are all going to be around the range of $20,000 because these are very high quality. But you can certainly find 3 carat lab diamonds on the marketplace that are much less expensive, closer to $13,000, $14,000 that are of lower quality. Lab diamonds are sold at a fraction of the price of mine diamonds, which are a big selling point for their growing popularity. There's fear within the natural diamonds industry that consumers will start accepting lab-grown diamonds in the bridal sector. But it's already happening, according to Adon Golan, an independent diamond industry analyst. I had a conversation with a bunch of jewelers in 2016 and I asked them, you know, will you introduce lab-grown into your, into your offerings? And the answer of all of them was, God forbid, no. I mean, I'm a luxury retailer and, and I won't bring in synthetic diamonds. And in 2017, we started to hear from them a, a different tune. He says the market for man-made diamonds is here to stay. Even though they make up only roughly 10% of diamond sales, interest is growing. The biggest growth sprout we saw was actually during COVID. Jewelry sales increased when other luxuries like travel weren't available. Golan said those with money to spare spent it on jewelry, especially earrings, which could be seen on Zoom computer screens. He says consumer trends continue to shift. Instead of buying the same for less, they started to buy more for the same. In other words, this is my budget. Instead of pocketing the difference, let's get a bigger diamond, you know, with higher clarity. Lab-grown diamond sales continue to surge while natural diamond sales are declining. But Golan doesn't expect one to overtake the other. Instead, he sees a bifurcation of the diamond industry. After all, diamonds are forever. So these brilliant synthetic gems are going mainstream, billed as a more affordable, sustainable, and ethical choice over natural mined diamonds, but, and there's always a but, critics say the amount of energy it would take to produce commercial quantities of human-made diamonds comes with its own problems.